Hello and welcome to Open Ground Reviewers Video Collection. I'm Arturo Garduño Magaña, Open Ground Reviewers Program Manager at ProReview. And in this video, we will discuss strategies for grant program staff to mitigate the impact of bias in the context of grant review. This video is part of a collection of seven videos on the topic of addressing and mitigating bias in the grant review process. We invite you to check out the full collection by visiting the link bit.ly forward slash open ground reviewers dash videos. We think it could be particularly useful to watch the videos Introduction to Bias in Grand Review and Understanding and Identifying Bias in Grand Review prior to watching this one. The strategies to mitigate bias presented in this video are tailored to the unique challenges and responsibilities faced by program staff and individuals who are working for a funding agency and who may be tasked with operating the funding program, communicating with applicants and reviewers, or are involved in selecting and deciding what gets funded. As funding program staff, you have the power to shape the research and innovation of the future. With this power comes the important responsibility of ensuring fairness in the evaluation process. That said, we recognize that depending on your role, you may or may not be in a position to adopt all the strategies that we talk about in this video. You may not have the authority to do it, or you may be in a work environment whose institutional power hierarchies make implementing that strategy risky for your own safety or that of others. Please know that that's okay. We invite you to take what you think best fits your role and situation and leave behind what doesn't, at least until the situation allows it. In the video Introduction to Bias in Grand Review, we discussed how biases can stem from systemic oppression. We also began to explore ways that we can interrupt bias at various levels within the system. Specifically, we talked about the framework called Idea R2 Method that we can use to reflect on our personal biases and the impact that they may have in the context of the grant review process. In this video, we delve deeper into specific strategies that you, as program staff, can adopt and adapt to minimize the impact of bias at the interpersonal level, that is, in your relationship with others, and at the institutional level, meaning in the context of designing policies and practices within your organization. Let's examine some strategies together. First, we say this before, but it's worth repeating. Interrupting bias and oppression at any level always starts with a commitment we have with ourselves to challenge our own biases and assumptions. This self-reflection can better equip you to initiate difficult conversations with your coworkers and supervisors, perhaps pointing out the need for staff training and more transparent anti-oppression accountability measures. As program staff involved in the grant review process, you may be in a position to challenge status quo organizational narratives about what makes a good fit for an applicant or who is considered an expert when inviting external reviewers. In doing so, you may quickly realize how easy it is to use proxies for expertise that have more to do with prestige and seniority rather than with a reviewer's ability to provide constructive and fair feedback to a grant application. To help external reviewers align with your organization's commitment to equity and openness, advocate for equipping them with clear evaluation criteria framed around the same values. Furthermore, implement measures for ensuring the pool of reviewers called to evaluate the grant proposals is as diverse as possible. Engaging reviewers with diverse individual differences, for example, professional background, career level, language and life experience, as well as with diverse group social differences, for example, gender identity, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, will allow for a broader variety of perspectives to be brought into the process, likely reducing the impact of common biases in the evaluation. Finally, and this is especially important when we are trying to build a diverse team of reviewers and are committed to equity practices, advocate for offering compensation for reviewers' time and expertise. Compensation can be offered in the form of monetary reward as well as in the form of access to training and professional development opportunities, community and networking opportunities, etc. In having these conversations, 
we want to be mindful about avoiding the assumption that just because a colleague identifies as someone belonging to a traditionally marginalized group, they must be interested or it's their responsibility to engage with others in anti-oppression discussions. The burden of anti-oppression work is a shared one across the organization. Last but not least, it is important you and other people in your organization are empowered to report oppression when you see it. Make sure code of conducts and barrier-free reporting protocols are in place and clearly communicated to all parties involved in the ground review process. Similarly, offer support to individuals experiencing oppression and advocate for organizational level policy that can provide such support and accountability. If you're interested in learning more specific strategies to apply an equity-focused and anti-racist approach to your work at a personal and organizational level, we invite you to check out these wonderful resources made available by the team at the Center for Diversity and Inclusion in Scholarly Publishing, or C4DISC. These tools are accessible by visiting the website linked in the slide. This is the end of this video. Make sure to check other videos in this collection, particularly mitigating bias, the role of rubrics and clear relation criteria to gain a better understanding of the importance of establishing clear guidelines for evaluators of grant application as a way to mitigate the impact of bias. Once again, you can access the full collection at bat.ly forward slash open ground reviewers dash videos. This video was developed by the Purview team for the Open and Equitable Model Funding Program in collaboration with the Open Research Funders Group and the Health Research Alliance. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please don't hesitate to email us at community at Thank you so much for your attention and see you in the next video.